And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Sim Casino. All right, so I ran into... I, I've been watching this really, really closely, this new bingo hall that we built last episode. And I realized that it's only going to be profitable if we can sell, like, every seat for every game. So I was watching this here. And our, um, let's see, eight dollar bingo. Our prize value is at a thousand. In order to keep that price satisfaction at a hundred percent, and we're only able to charge eight dollars because of the capacity of the zone. So we were literally getting people winning prizes. A thousand dollar prizes when the thing wasn't full, right? So my net profit is actually really bad. I mean, we have made seventy four thousand in this zone, certainly, but the fact that those prizes were a thousand dollars made it so it was not profitable. We were not making as much as we were bringing in or uh, we were paying out more than we were bringing in. Not an ideal situation. So I want to, um, oh, somebody won the nickel, nickel jackpot. I want to uh, let this close down here. And I want to remove some of these tables <clears throat> and uh, be uh, reevaluate the price satisfaction at that point. You know, we've got two or three people. Yeah, it's we're not selling nearly enough. And I think part of that is um, the, the chance to win is so low. This one still making pretty decent amounts of money. Okay, so I want to remove some tables here. Now... What does this thing look like? $8 bingo hall. We want to raise up the cost and maybe remove a few more tables. One hundred thirty-eight. See that price outcome chance .72. It's because of how many people we have in here. So what I might do is trim that down a little bit more. We're up at eighty-eight. We're gonna do twelve dollars, and then maybe. 600 get that price satisfaction higher and what I'm going to do rearrange this a little bit maybe use this space for something else um, let's move you move move We're going to move these here, move these here. All right. Now we're going to dezone all of this. Um, bingo hall zone. I want a little bit more out of that. A little bit more out of that. So this space in here, we can then wall off and build, you know, build something else in here. Right? One thing that we don't have... 
that's all that. Where is entertainment? We already have the dance floor. One thing I don't have is, let's see, dining. I don't have a computer room, conference room. So yeah, computer room zone. How about we do that right in this spot right in here? Computer room zone. Okay. Yeah, 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 I know. Interior door. Let's get a wall. Where was that? There it is. So this needs computer desk and a printing station. Printing station and a computer desk. Okay. Um, PC hourly rate. Printer charge. Um, we could probably do that. Nice little computer room in here. I mean, it's not much, certainly. But, yeah, $6 per hour to use the computer. Nice little computer room in here. This, I'm pondering what, maybe a conf, maybe we can do a conference room in there. Um, let's see about decorating computer room. Sure. Green, why not? It's the green room. There we go. Carpet, I, I'm not gonna worry about that. So, conference, Room for business customers to hire out for meetings. So what's the hall? Run a conven oh, conventions. I see what that is. Requires researching convention hall. I doubt. Yeah, $108,000 just to research that. Yikes. So conference rooms don't have to be super big. Um, but it will start us on our journey. Having a complete. So four by five, I'm going to do three here some there That, okay. Conference room zone. Yeah, they, they can't <clears throat> get to convention hall, conference table. That's a big conference table. Okay. Not sure what the speakers are for, but mm, 
let's see. And what kind of door? Interior door? Something like that. Okay, so if we look at the zone, capacity 8, capacity 8, we could increase the capacity of this one. They're usually booked from 6 a.m. and throughout the day. So this has a capacity of 16. Uh, price satisfaction. Oh, let's let's get some windows in there. At least make it semi nice. Like that. There is price satisfaction. Eight dollars for you. And you. And you. Eight dollars an hour, I think. Oh, cost per person. Okay, that 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 helps. Okay, now this. So, catering to some business customers. And then this zone, let's look at the final. Price satisfaction, 85%. So the chance is still less than 1%. But, oh, look at that. We've, holy cow. Already. Look at that. We made we actually made some money on this already. Um cost per person nine dollars, so that should be we have seven people in there. Yeah, look at that. We made a little bit of money. Sixty three dollars. Some stragglers. And the computer room is actually earning some money now, too. It's going to be a while before those are paid off. Yeah, these are uh, 1200 bucks. And what are the, it was like $6 or something like that to $6 an hour. That was a long meeting. Two hours. All right. So I'm hoping this actually earns a little bit more. We're going to name this $12 bingo zone now. Hopefully, that gets a little bit fuller. Meeting in progress, meeting in progress. Three attendees. Six attendees. Oh, nice. A little bit of extra. I mean, it's probably not going to, you know, really make me... A lot of money but hopefully hopefully it makes a little bit of a difference I used quite a lot of our 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 money so are we 
Twelve dollar bingo hall. Are we making money yet? I think we might be. For some reason, our nighttime or light nighttime lifetime net profit like reset or something. I don't know what that's all about. I mean, we did sell a bunch of tables, so that probably earned us a little bit of money back. Um, but at the end of the day, I am looking for this to be positive. This really, really, really has to be positive. Yeah, see the worth of coins and notes. This, every time somebody wins, this goes up, cutting into our profit margin. But if we can sell at least 600 tickets, $600 in tickets, for every round or whatever, however this is simulated, this should make us some money. The price satisfaction is up in the 80%, so that's that's good. It's not as good as this one over here, but... Yeah, I was I was hoping to really make a lot of money, but the more seats you have, the the less of a chance you have of you know getting that bingo. So I didn't quite realize that when I made that giant enormous setup. But at least these setups here, I don't know who they're talking to. Um. Um, they're going to make us a little bit of money. I mean, literally like 80 bucks in a day. Um, this has made us $240 today. So not big money makers, but it does attract people that can, can use the hotel rooms. So yeah, the occupancy rates should be decent and I could expand my hotel um a bit you know i could definitely build all the way out to here and radically expand the hotel business customer yeah fantastic maybe maybe you know maybe they'll stop by a table game or something on their way out I wonder how much the if the business customers. Oh, I think we've <clears throat> surpassed. Um, where does this tell me? Hmm. <clears throat> Not sure. I'm not sure where I read that. Like when when they're when they're popular. <clears throat> All right, let's look at this. Okay, definitely making some profit. <clears throat> Much better than it was. Holy cow! It was really hurting before. I might be able to shave one of these desks out the end of the day the reason why you need so many desks is these actually start you can see very very subtly the maintenance condition and if you just have a few desks like two or three that maintenance condition is going to drop really really fast um, which it becomes unusable until somebody comes in and, and fixes it It's, it's staying pretty consistently busy. I think, I think we, I think we managed to pull this one out of the ashes here because that was, that was very worrying. Bingo income. Yeah. If we look at yesterday, entertainment does show we made 71,000. But for some reason, bingo winnings isn't a expense 
in this, and I don't know why. I don't know why bingo winnings is an expense. Um, the expense for bingo winnings, I think, is in here. Uh, do, 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 do. Cash in payouts receipts one. This right here, this is mostly bingo, I think, which is why this was minus 46,000. So, yeah, for some reason, bingo income, I really wish bingo income was in here, giving us a more accurate entertainment-based um, profit and loss. But yeah, that was very worrying. I mean, earning 53000 in gambling, but at the end of the day, losing 46000 that was not that was not good. Uh, we still made out net positive for the day, but not not nearly what I was expecting. Um, not making any money from this bingo was was hurting me bad. Even if it's I don't know even if it's break even, it's better than better than nothing. Um, but it gets the people in the door, maybe sells a few more entertainment tickets, that kind of stuff goes a long way even even our buffet you know making some decent money we got a ton of people coming in ton of people remember when we first started we were getting maybe three or four hundred a day coming in at our best days so doing much much better I might need to be bump up my number of workmen Workmen here, 6 p.m. to midnight. I'm going to bump you up to 2. You're going to be, well, I think your 4 is fine. Yeah, I think that's fine. Staff schedule. Security guard. I don't. Hmm. Not sure how that plays. Pit boss. That's fine. Always have. <clears throat> always have pit bosses. <clears throat> the security guards. I got you know security waypoints. Like, this is one security guard here. And I got several in here. I don't know. Hmm. Not sure how that works. Does, does adding a patrol add a security guard separate from the cash vault security guard? I'm not sure. Because I got another security guard out here patrolling the front door. This person was needed to catch people who were trying to get away with my money. All right, how did we do? $12 bingo haul at the end of the day, lost a little money. I might want to shut this thing down a little earlier in the day. That was we were doing we were doing great up until probably nine o'clock. Okay, so yeah, we we definitely probably want to close this down sooner. So schedule we're gonna pause it. Well, let's let it close first closes at midnight. We're going to close it at Yeah, stop stop buying tickets, people. Everybody. There you go. Now, schedule. 
scheduling tab. We want 8 a.m. to 9.30 p.m. 9.30 p.m. to midnight closed. On the weekends, we are going to do 8 a.m. to midnight. I think that would be that would be better. But closing it during the week a little earlier will help rein in those expenses. So we're going to copy and then paste. And then we're also going to we need to paste it on here. And then we're going to delete one of these. Empty cache now. This one is, is still doing really well. I might keep this one around. I mean, <laughs> net profit is $382,000. So I'm pretty good on that. Amazing, those numbers are just amazing. Um, 382,000. Having this mingle hall open until midnight all the time, but this one closing down early, I think, is wise. Okay, you should have grabbed all the money out of this, so I am going to delete. This object enable repair. Come and repair, please. Yeah, my workman. Yeah, 30 unassigned tasks. I might need some more workmen to, to fix stuff. There we go. Now I can dismantle. <clears throat> Room usage income. Okay, what was that all about? Room usage income. Was that like accommodation? Maybe? Was it what was our accommodation yesterday? 7900. That that must have been room u yeah, room usage income. Okay. So somebody Somebody got a hotel room at like two in the morning. Just check all my, I think this room was rented out. Ooh, this one's not rented out. Lifetime occupancy. It's weird, you know, I click on the occupancy. Sometimes it says 100%. It looks, it's like when there's somebody in it, Oh, that doesn't, no, that doesn't report that. I don't know. Sometimes this says when I click on this, 100%. And it's it's weird. But it's definitely not 100%. But money-wise, yeah, that, that room alone has made me 15 grand. So pretty darn good. Wow, well, there's already a conference? Crazy. This person's all alone. <laughs> uh, nice. Didn't this start? Yeah, this started. Okay, good. I'm hoping some of these people are hungry. Yeah, see, some of these people are hungry. And uh, let's see if any of them... Yeah, one person definitely went to eat. So a little extra money from that. Let's 
following this dude here. Oh yeah, he's he's gonna go get some steak for breakfast. Well, that's a, that'd be a little heavy. That put me to sleep. I ate that for breakfast. Oh, there it is. Nobody is. Anyway, they are usually booked from six a.m. and throughout the day. Eight attendees. Eighty-eight bucks. Glorious. And now, are you making money? Whoa! What? Why is that so bad? 27 grand in the hole? What could have possibly... What could have changed that? Wow. Hmm. Are, are people cheating? Yeah, I really need to get like a detective's office up here because Cheating is becoming crazy. But this is a little shocking. I'm going to have to keep an eye on this throughout the day. So, yeah. I don't know what happened with that. That should not be... I mean, why? what would have caused that? Hundred and seventeen thousand worth of coins and notes. That's how much was one. Huh. All right, well, <clears throat> I'm gonna keep an eye on it. Well, that's gonna do it for this episode, and I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.